Highnesses, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen and honoured guests, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the 2017 Arab Women of the Year Awards, being held here in London, organised by the London Arabia Organisation and supported by London and Partners and sponsored by Bista Village, La Vallée Village and Regents University. London and the United Kingdom as a whole have continued to maintain and grow partnerships around the globe and particularly our links with the Arab world. Tonight's winners are among the most distinguished the Arab world has to offer. Achievement in social leadership, Dr. Haina Morsi Farrell. I would like to thank the good parents of the center and all the breast cancer women and men in Sudan. Achievement in community development. To Sheikha Intisar Al Sabah. Positivity is when you say something good about someone that allows them to do more. So thank you for this. This will propel me to do 10 times more than I've done so far. Achievement in culture. Dr. Maha Khalil Chalabi. I am sure that this platform will continue to inspire success. Achievement in philanthropies. Her Royal Highness, Princess Lamia bint Majid Al Saud. I'm honored and lucky to serve almost 400 million around the world. This award goes to them. Thank you very much. Tonight, I'm actually extremely humbled by seeing a sea of spectacular women around with such amazing achievement. And I'm honored to be able to really help sponsor such an award. Achievement in music, Nawal El Kuwaitis. Saida Akidan of Hadha Takrim, Mindola Arika, Mithil Britannia, Ufahura, Bini Mithil. Achievement in promoting women's advancement. Yasmin Sabri. This award will push me to use all of my efforts to help empower women in believing in themselves and dreaming bigger. Achievement in trade development. Sheikha Hind Al Khalifa. It's inspiring to have goals to achieve and we would pass the light to the new generation. Achievement in education, Professor Kama Nabulsi. I'd like to dedicate this to the students who always educate me about freedom. Thank you very much, lovely to be here tonight. We want to show Arab women as an example to everyone, to motivate others, to reach for more and to do more. We want young people in the Arab world to view Arab women who are leading as the norm, not the exception. Tonight, we celebrate Arab women who aspire to make a difference. Achievement in motivation and well-being, Hala Kazim. I dedicate this to my beloved country, United Arab Emirates, for its leaders whom encourage women to challenge themselves. Achievement in public awareness, Hind al Ariani. I dedicate this award to every Yemeni woman who has struggled during this time with harsh conditions Achievement in journalism, Rahida Degan. To every girl, little girl, young woman in the Arab region or beyond who would like to be where I'm standing tonight, yes, you can. Now it's an award close to my heart is the Tiger Girls. I just want to say thank you on behalf of the Tiger Girls. I believe this award is a powerful message uh, to the world to help the uh, old girls inside uh, Zahtari Camp to continue their education. I have here with me 120 uh, thank you notes from Tiger Girls to Mr. Omar Libdur. This is the third time that we have held these awards here. I hope that we'll see all of you here next year and that we have another group of fantastic women to celebrate. Thank you all very much. <laughs>